Welcome to this project. In this project, we'll implement Australian Cultural Heritage Places map using Leaflet at the front end and GeoJungle, Django REST framework and PostGIS at the back end. Let me show you some of the features of this application. On the left here, we have a Leaflet map with some point features. These point features are Cultural Heritage Places. So these three circles are culture heritage places. On the right hand side, we have a menu information. By default, it displays this message, welcome to Australian culture heritage places map. If you click on any of these cultural heritage places, the menu information changes accordingly. In this case, this place is Sydney Opera House and you can read the place name on the pop-up box as well as on the menu information. Here you can see an image of the place and this is a description of the cultural heritage place. Furthermore, once you click on the cultural heritage place, the application changes the color of the selected or click it place and then displays three additional point features. So these are adi three additional point features, which are cities. So these are three cities that are geographically closest to the particular place. So in my case, this cultural heritage place name is Sydney Opera House. And these are three cities that are geographically closest to Sydney Opera House. So the first one is Newcastle and you can see city name in here and then proximity. Proximity means the distance between this city and then cultural heritage place. So then this one is Gosford and the proximity between this city and then Sydney Opera House is 40 kilometers. So I would like to show you another feature in here. So if I click on the next cultural heritage place, the application first removes the previous three cities and then displays the new ones. So as you can see, it removed the previous three cities and then displayed the new ones in here. And if you don't have an image of the culture heritage place, the application displays no image available. Okay, so and you can manage these cultural heritage places and cities through an admin user interface. So for instance, if you want, you can add new places by clicking on this button. Or if you want, you can add it or delete an existing place. Similarly, you can do the same here in the cities page. You can add new cities or you can add it or delete existing cities and all places are linked to categories so these are cultural heritage categories so then the cultural heritage places and cities data is provided to the client side through a rest api we'll implement several rest api endpoints so let me show you some of the rest api endpoints that we will build so the first one is places so obviously these are culture heritage places and here you can see all of my culture heritage places. Of course, I don't have many, but you can have as many as you want. So this is my first culture heritage place and this is my second culture heritage place and this is my third culture heritage place. And pay attention, this one is GeoJSON. In other words, it's in GeoJSON format. And obviously you can specify an ID of the culture heritage place. So for instance, this one is Shark Bay and it has an ID of 10. So if I say number 10, then the REST API returns a single culture heritage place, which is Shark Bay. Then we have another, we have another endpoint. This is for cities. So this city's endpoint requires an ID of the cultural heritage place. 
So in this case, I have specified that my culture heritage place ID is nine. And once you hit enter, so in our application, um, the application will send a request to this endpoint, but in here I need to press enter. So the endpoint calculates the distance between the culture heritage place and the cities. And then it returns three cities that are geographically closest to the particular place. In my case, these are three cities that are closest to this culture heritage place, which is number nine. And number nine, we can have a look in here. Oops. Number nine is Sydney Opera House. Similarly, I can copy this and then put it in here. That means now my application will rerun the calculation and then returns three cities that are geographically closest to this particular place. Okay, so I hope you will enjoy implementing this project and let's get started.